Now we're going to continue on modeling with basic primitives in object mode, but we're going to take it to the next level and start to add or subtract objects one from another. And to do that, we're going to use a new thing called a modifier. We start out with our basic object sitting here on the workspace. I'm going to jump into top mode and I will grab it, move it off to the side a bit, and then we can add a new mesh to work with and we're going to add a cylinder. Keep in mind that this modifier that I'm going to show you only works with mesh objects, so make sure you've got the right kind when you start out. I'm going to scale it down a little bit, which I just did, and then I'm going to hit the S key and limit myself to this axis going up on the Z axis and scale it up a bit. The idea there is just to make a cylinder that's a little taller and a little narrower than the cube that we're going to interface it with. So let's go ahead now and move it over so that it sits inside of the cube and then verify that we are actually sitting inside of it, which we are. When you are doing these kinds of manipulations with modifiers, it helps to be able to see just the wireframe outlines of your objects as well as seeing them in shaded view, so we're going to hit the Z key. The Z key is what toggles you between those two modes. The outlines are really useful as you're zipping around to see and verify what's happening inside of objects. When you don't have Z on, you can't really see what the cylinder is doing behind this front face of this cube. Okay, so now that we've got these two made, we know that we can hit Z to toggle between those two views, which will be helpful. Let's pick one of them, say the cube, and we'll go to the outliner so we can give it a name that we like. Click on the object that you want to name. Make sure you have the object tab highlighted here, and let's give it a name. I'm going to call this, even though cube and cylinder are pretty descriptive, we'll get in the habit of giving them names that we know. So we'll say cube big for this guy, and we'll take the cylinder, and we'll call it cylinder small. That'll be a reminder that the cylinder is going to get cut out of the bigger thing, which is the cube. So now we'll toggle into our wireframe mode here. We'll select, and again, when you're selecting in wireframe mode, you need to select on the edges. If you're in uh, full mode, uh, shaded mode here, you can actually select in the center of things to grab them. So let's grab the smaller object first, the thing we want to cut out, and then we'll shift grab, second grab the bigger object. Now we need to jump into modifiers, and they are underneath the wrench icon here and we're going to add a modifier. You can also achieve the same thing by hitting the space bar and typing in modifier and add modifier. The type we're going to use is a boolean, which is just like boolean logic and or not, etc. We're going to do boolean and we are going to apply a difference, which you can think of kind of like subtraction. Important that you have to pick an object in this drop-down, or else nothing will happen. So I'll say cylinder small and apply. Now it doesn't really look like anything happened when I did that, but it actually did apply a transformation. And the way that you can tell is by hitting the A key to deselect everything, and then selecting just your cylinder and hitting the X key to delete it. And now if we toggle up in our view, we can see that we actually just punched a hole through that one bigger object with our smaller object. Again, we did that by using a modifier, which lives under the, um, under the wrench icon when you're working. And the basic process that we did was to add two objects, select the smaller object, and then the bigger object, and then use the modifier with difference on the small object to delete it. Last step, you've got to go ahead and delete that object, and you'll be left over with a compound object with a hole punched through it. You can play around with the different modifiers and see different types of booleans that you can add beyond just difference. You could try union, you could try intersect. Now before we finish this little uh, demo here, let's do one more thing. Let's make sure we're in top mode. Let's hit A to deselect everything and let's add a new mesh and we'll add a cube. If I want to union these two and I want to basically make one big object out of the two of them, it's a lot of work to go through the whole modifier workflow process. So let's do it a slightly different way. I'm going to grab this and just move it up so it butts up against this uh, other object here. 
And then I can make sure that I shift select so that I get both of these objects selected at the same time. Again, that shift select to select two different things. And if I hit the space bar and type in join, I can join these two objects together into one. So as you can see, that's a much faster way to combine those two primitive shapes into one more compound shape.